What's going on everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day as always. I'm gonna fix that. That's not as straight as it could be. Um, there's been a, a school shooting in Maryland at Great Mills High School and um, I just wanted to talk about it for a few minutes. We'll wait probably, you know, one or two minutes for people to get into this live stream, but there's something, you know, interesting about this. Uh, that I'm sure the media will not make nearly as much of a big deal about as other situations and whatnot. You know, there's always an agenda to be pushed. But overall, uh, before I start, I want to say, America, we have to get it together. We got to stop the violence. We got to stop the negativity. We have to stop promoting this type of stuff because, you know, a lot of things work like that. If you not stop talk about things for a lot, you're actually, you know, promoting what you're trying to stop. So I think there's psychology that goes into it. There's mental health and there's also, you know, media overstimulation that goes into it. But we'll talk about it in a minute. Thank you guys so much for joining. As always, if you would like to support, uh, I'm going to put my email list. It's uh, free. Sign up at the end. I'm going to post my social media links as well. And then my donation link if you'd like to support. Let me see if I can pin that real quick. Let's see if I can get it pinned. Got it. All right, let's wait 30 more seconds. Thank you guys for joining. For everyone that's here, we'll just get a slow roll into it. Um, I'm reading right off the news now. There was a 17-year-old male student who shot two other students at Great Mills High School in Maryland on Tuesday morning. Um, and this is St. Ma Mary's County Sheriff Tim Cameron said so. Um, 755 a lot of the reports are saying that this student knew the girl personally i don't know we'll find out later i'm sure maybe it's a girlfriend maybe it's not and before you know the media gets to push their narrative you're gonna have conservatives push their narrative you're gonna have liberals push their narrative cnn and you know the the i don't want, i don't want to say communist i don't want to start my morning with the communist agenda but you know they're gonna say what they have to say um I just want to say what no one's going to say, which is school shootings and negativity and this type of stuff's not going to stop because we never look at the root of the problem and also they nonstop talk about it all the time. I'm a big believer in not talking about what you're trying to stop. Um, the same people that claim that they hate Donald Trump, they nonstop talk about Donald Trump all the time. They covered him all election, then they're like, well, why did he win? It's like, well, you nonstop talked about him, and the other option was straight basura which is translated from Spanish into trash. So similar to the school shootings, you know, CNN, uh, MSNBC, these 16 year old kids whose parents are like agents and you know, all this stuff that's all over television, they claim like they wanna save lives, but they nonstop talk about it. They put it on a platform. So now if you're, you know, a little mentally disturbed, what do you see all over your Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Google? All you see school shooting, school shooting, school shooting, school shooting, school shooting, school shooting, school shooting. So what type of, you know, ideas do you think that puts in people's heads? You don't just try to solve the problem. They not stop talking about it. So that's just what I wanted to say before I get into what happened that nobody's going to talk about is you can't just nonstop talk about something with a bad strategy if you want to get rid of it, especially something like gun control, where all of the stats, all of the facts, all of the logic is telling you that no matter what the legislation is, uh, criminals will not follow that legislation. Uh, you know, th there's millions of illegal guns and whatnot. It doesn't matter. They, they just want to push this agenda and they want to say, you know, the Second Amendment, we need to alter it. We need to take these guns away. We need to take these guns away. They operate off emotions. They don't operate off facts or statistics. It's just pure emotions. And that's what bothers me the most about the mainstream media is they do a good job of pretending like they use facts, but they almost always operate off emotions. They manipulate people's emotions. They use tragedies. They love tragedies to manipulate people's emotions because when their agenda is not working, a big tragedy happens and then all of a sudden their agenda works. So I like to use facts and logic and here's what happened in this situation just to get into it. That's just my one two real quick before we get into it is don't talk about nonstop talk about something same way the media used to talk about ISIS. They don't talk about ISIS anymore because Trump is destroying ISIS. Before Trump was in office, when Obama was in office, that's all CNN talked about. They talked about ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. If I didn't know better, I would think CNN is an ISIS promoting agent. I would think that they were trying to promote ISIS. And now that it's dying off, it's like they don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's, it's almost like they wanted it to exist in the first place. Side note, that's just my thought about the psychology and 
you know, b- behind nonstop talking about something and putting it on the news every single day doesn't make any sense. It's not, you're not going to stop these things from happening. You're going to give people ideas and you're going to promote this type of activity. So the incident happened at 755. The school resource officer, a hero, a patriot, he should be on every news station. He should have a town hall. He's not going to, of course, because what happened in this situation is school resource officer Blaine Gaskill responded to the scene in less than a minute. The sheriff said Gaskell fired around at the shooter. The shooter fired around back. Rollins was later pronounced dead. Gaskill was unharmed. So the, the believe it or not, this is an option. Before, what really bothered me in the, uh, the the last school shooting in Parkland was they had the town hall before they even figured out what was going on. So you had the Broward County Sheriff saying, we need to take people's guns away. It's the guns. It's the guns. We need gun law. We need gun law. Meanwhile, they had a school officer who did nothing, and you never heard about that because CNN got to push their agenda. They got to exploit 16-year-old kids whose dads are agents, and you know they're cousins of each other, and they were probably set up to do this in the first place. And you know that's a side note, but they got their agenda out before they even figured out what's going on because they don't care what's going on. Uh, why did you know the biggest massacre that was two, three times as big as the Parkland shooting in Vegas? Why did they not have a town hall? Why was there no Las Vegas town hall? Well, one because it was a country concert, so a lot of those people would have opinions that CNN doesn't want to hear. Uh, and same with CNN, same with the, the the Las Vegas shooting. That was one of the sketchiest things ever. A sixty-year-old dude, you know, shot you know hundreds of people with two guns and two windows and sixty guns on the floor, and then the only witness runs to Mexico, comes back, and is on Ellen, who has, you know, Ellen has MGM slots, so she's a partner with MGM, the the hotel that it came for. He comes back, has a puff piece. We learn absolutely nothing about it. On to the next one, the Florida one happens. So this one, not to even get off topic, the school officer responded in less than a minute. That's what you're supposed to do if you're an officer. That's what the law enforcement does. I'm personally not for arming a bunch of teachers. I don't think that's a great idea, but Having a competent school officer is a good idea. I'm sure he saved a lot more lives. Um, You know, maybe not. Maybe it was an incident where he was just going to kill somebody he knew. Anyway, this is what the officers are supposed to do. And how disgusting, how sickening is it? I don't care what you believe. I don't care, you know, your policy on gun control and legislation. Isn't it disgusting? Isn't it sickening to you that the Broward County Sheriff was on CNN Town Hall's Blaming guns and blaming the NRA when it was his officers who didn't not only didn't respond in less than a minute They hid outside the school. They literally hid outside the school While kids were getting massacred and then somehow they're allowed to go on television being cowards Uh, Three of them in later reports We found out two weeks later that there were three officers on top of the one officer. That's four police officers standing outside of the school why were, they, why were there four police officers standing outside of a school in Florida, and then here, the officer responds in less than a minute, shoots the shooter, nothing happens. In Tennessee, a church was getting shot up, somebody stopped the shooter, went to his car, got a gun, had a standoff, the police came, saved hundreds of lives. There's no town hall, because they don't care about saving lives, and I don't care if you believe I'm just being honest. I don't care if you believe in gun legislation, you know, common sense gun legislation or little gun legislation. I don't care if you believe in none and you support the Second Amendment. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of guns, but I support the Second Amendment because I know logic. I know the facts. I know that gun-free school zones don't work. Almost all shootings are in gun-free school zones. Um, This one, luckily, the the, um, the officer had a gun, a, um, a, a gun, excuse me. Uh, In cities where there's the highest gun control legislation, there's the highest gun murder because there's millions upon tens of millions of illegal guns. You have 3D printers and, you know, people who can literally make guns and make weapons just like the Austin, you know, bombings of of the um, mail. Oh, uh, what, what, isn't it? They should make a law that it's illegal to uh, to put bombs in mail. It's already a law. It's just people don't follow the law when they're disgusting people trying to do messed up stuff. So I just wanted to, to say what the news is probably going to be on the hush-hush, which is 
The officer responded in less than a minute, and this puts even more scrutiny and makes me more frustrated about what happened in Broward County. They have four officers standing outside of the school, standing outside of the school. The school had five or six um, drills a, a month. Do you know any public school that has five or six drills a month? They have a kid whose dad's an FBI agent whose mom literally took them on a CNN VIP tour with Anderson Cooper two years ago. This isn't a conspiracy. This is a fact. He's in the, he's in the closet filming saying we need gun control legislation now while there's an active shooter. That's not a little suspicious to anybody. They have a town hall two days after where they have the sheriff, the Broward County Sheriff Officer, blaming the NRA, law-abiding legal citizens who have literally never been a part of any of this gun crime it's never been the nra spoiler alert it's been like psycho kids um they're blaming the nra meanwhile we found out a week later that they had four officers standing outside of the school blaine gaskill responded in less than a minute because that's what you do when it's not a complete setup when it's not a complete fabricated lie and i'm not saying it's a fabricated lie like people didn't die i'm saying either at best they're complete and utter cowards who didn't do their job and let kids get massacred. That's not the NRA's fault. That's not law-abiding citizens' fault. Let's be honest. If you want to change gun control legislation, then you at least have to admit that these people are complete cowards, which they are, and they let kids get massacred. It has nothing to do with legislation or law. It has everything to do with incompetency at every single level. They had 50-plus warnings. At best, there were cowards... They were cowards, excuse me, who literally let kids get massacred on their hands. The FBI had 10, 15, 20 warnings. The police officers had 50, 60, 70 warnings. Literally, they knew everything about it. They said, this kid needs to be institutionalized. They had every warning in the world. They didn't do anything about it, which is bad enough, the fact that they let kids get massacred. But they had to go a stoop further. Have you ever seen, in your entire life, have you ever seen, so much advertising for gun control and more gun control legislation than you saw with the Parkland shooting. You had Snapchat advertisements of the kids, you had Twitter, Facebook, Google, and now they're registered on Twitter. They got millions of followers. They're doing marches. They did a march in every single school. They had some sort of organized federal marching program last week for all the kids to march in the street. Off of the school shooting, that was the sketchiest school shooting in United States history. That was the biggest failure of the police and the FBI in United States history. That was a complete cowardly act and a miss, uh, you know, a huge miss from law enforcement at best, a complete and utter setup at worst. And I'm not afraid to say that because how obvious could it be? What public school has five drills a month? What public school has a little agent kid in the corner, you know, filming during an active shooter, not saying, oh, let's be quiet because there's an active shooter, saying, hey, let's pass gun control legislation. We're not even, he's not even out of the school yet, but we're going to pass gun control legislation right now while there's an active shooter in the school. I mean, that's not sketchy to anybody. Are they going to remove my video for not being a complete moron? Am I going to get artificially intelligence uh, filtered by Google and Twitter while they blame Steve Bannon, even though Obama had all of the... Uh, you know, all of the data and there's WikiLeaks emails showing the COO of Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg, saying, we'll do anything we can to help you. We want the first female president. It's literally 100% documented proof, but let's not even get into that. But this should be a wake up call because there's not going to be uh, there's not going to be a town hall for this. There's certainly not going to be a town hall for Las Vegas because they're on the hush hush about Las Vegas. No town hall never even happened. Shh. Biggest mass shooting in U.S. history. <clears throat> Sweep that under the rug real quick. We don't want to talk about that. Let's let's bring the only witness back from Mexico after they ran away from pl reporters. Let's bring them to Ellen. Here, Ellen, do a puff piece and send them to a Giants game. And uh, let's never talk about the situation again. They're not going to talk about that. They're not going to talk about the Texas shooting. They're, uh, they're, they're certainly not going to talk about this one because the police officer did what the police officers didn't do in Florida, which was actually respond and do their job. Whoa! Maybe we don't have to blame the NRA and law-abiding citizens if the, if, if the school officer actually responds in less than a minute rather than hides outside the school for a half an hour, waits for the other police officers to show up, and then they hide outside the school. Why were they waiting outside the school? Were they cowards or were they literally told, 
to wait outside the school? I mean, is that not a question that we can ask? Or can we think? I'm, can I say this now while I'm still allowed to say it? Is there thought control? Are we like Europe where we have laws that you can't question history? And if you say something wrong about, you know, certain religion, you get arrested and thrown in jail? Are we there yet? Am I going to get banned? Am I not allowed in the UK now because I'm not a complete moron who wants to destroy Western civilization? Is that how far we've fallen? Am I allowed to question things or no? Are we just supposed to prop up 16-year-olds? Oh, forget about the fact that, you know, we have a 45-age minimum uh, to be in presidency and you got to be a certain age to, you know, vote and you got to be a certain age to drive. Let's, uh, let's let 14-year-old kids whose parents are agents, let's, uh, let's let them decide legislation. Why not? Let's... Let's listen to their stupid little opinions. He's like, oh, I wouldn't have gone inside the school. I would have been scared of the shooter too. Well, of course you would have because you're a little agent kid whose dad's an agent who was sitting in the school filming for gun control legislation. We get it. You're a Democrat. You're a liberal. You've been to CNN. Your mom's a Planned Parenthood activist. We, we get it. We know, we know the whole thing. Just because they delete all the articles and videos doesn't mean people don't know who you are. And that's fine. You can have an opinion. I'm not saying... He did the shooting. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. But what I am saying is his dad's an agent. His mom took him to CNN two years ago on a VIP tour. And all of a sudden he's in the, in the camera. And he's on television saying, Oh, well, I don't blame the sheriffs for standing outside and letting my friends get massacred. Because I would have done the same thing. Because I don't want to save kids' lives. I just want to uh, pass legislation and take other to blame the NRA and call them terrorists. Meanwhile, the politicians I support literally fund moderate rebels in Libya and Syria, which end up either being terrorists or giving their arms and weapons to terrorists and then killing the, the elected leader of Libya and Syria. And then, you know, terrorists taking over. So the people who literally support politicians who literally fund and support terrorists, they call American citizens terrorists. Hillary Clinton goes over to India, blames all of America. I won the big cities where all the money is and all the poor people are really bad. I mean, th this is, these are the type of people that we're dealing with. And I wish we weren't because I don't even want to get political. I don't want to talk about any more shootings because the more you talk about stuff like this, the more that, you know, it's, it's not going to stop because people don't try to solve it. They, they operate off pure emotions. They call American citizens terrorists. They support literal terrorist organizations. They support politicians who spend taxpayer dollars on terrorist organizations. And then they, they have the, the audacity to call the NRA terrorist organizations and defend police officers who stand outside the school and be like, well, I'm a coward too, so I would have stood right outside the school as well. That's what I would have done because I'm a coward. So why blame the coward officer? Because that's what I would do if I'm a police officer. And ever, oh well, don't don't question a 16 year old kid whose dad's an FBI agent. There, there's no way you can do that. We're gonna delete your video off off, off Facebook. Well, this officer, Blaine Gaskill, of course, the the shooter had a different gun, so it might have been a little bit easier. But he responded to the scene in less than a minute. So that's just a point I wanted to make. Hopefully all the madness stops. Uh, I would love to see the end of gun violence. I would love to see the end of um, all types of violence. I would love to see the end of crime. I would love to see nobody shooting anybody. I would love to see our children safe more than anyone would. But how are we going to do that? Are we going to do that by operating off pure emotions, letting 16-year-olds run rampant by federally you know, organizing school rallies that make absolutely no sense and, you know, take, put a microscope on the one school shooting that was the sketchiest one because every other shooting that's happened in the last year, not every other one, but many of them were stopped by somebody with a gun. And I'm not saying that that's the best way to go. I'm just saying the news is not going to talk about it and they're certainly not going to have a town hall. They don't want people to know that. Um, and it's disgusting to me, especially with the Parkland thing, because regardless of what you say, I'm sure they'll probably delete this video of mine and I'll get yelled at like I do now. There's NASA people on, oh, well, how dare you make a video about NASA because we're a multi-billion dollar industry and we waste all our money. I'm not saying that you waste all your money. I'm just saying that NASA lost the footage, the telemetry data, and all of the stuff from the original moon landing. I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon. I'm saying that NASA people said that. So... People yell at me like I'm, I'm just reading the news. I'm telling you what happened. I'm telling you who the people are. I'm sorry that they don't want you to know these things, um, but it's okay. I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to make a new video later too. Um, but 
it's just frustrating to me and upsetting to me that that last school shooting has lingered and they're going to talk about it for a year. They're going to talk about it for two years. Now they have these rock star people who are more popular than Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. The new leaders of the Democratic uh, Communist Party are 16-year-old kids. Literally, um, not making this stuff up. We live in an alternate reality, I guess. Um, you're not allowed to question them. You're not allowed to point out when um, you know shooters were stopped by competent police officers and competent st- school resource officers who responded to the scene in less than a minute. Really, less than a minute responded to the scene. I thought the, the I was told on CNN by a 14 year old that um, the right thing to do is hide outside the school because guns are scary and rather than go in and try to stop the school shooter when you're a police officer, you're supposed to hide outside and then call CNN and say, hey, we need, to, we need to call the NRA terrorists and we need to take guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens now. That's the way to stop it. Why do police officers even respond to the crime scene? The police shouldn't go and do their jobs. I mean, what are they? Republicans? What? Police actually go and use their gun and stop criminals and, and save lives? Are, what is, ev- is every uh, police officer, a Republican NRA criminal, I mean, what they really should do, instead of going and saving lives with their guns, police officers should stand outside, they should tweet about it, make little documentary videos, uh, you know, that they've been planning for months, and then they should, uh, you know, just call CNN and be like, hey, there's a guy with a gun in here, let, let's let him massacre people, let's put 16-year-olds on television, and uh, let, we need legislation now because I'm sure if we, if we make it so it's really hard for people to get guns, uh, I'm sure that there's going to be no gun violence because it's worked really well in Chicago. It's worked really well in other countries. And it's, it's going to work here because there's certainly not tens of millions of illegal guns that are unregistered in the hands of criminals today. It's not like, you know, there's criminals every single day that commit crimes with unregistered illegal guns that they never bought at a store that they just bought on the black market. Like, pretty much anyone could buy at any time. Is that what we're going to do? Do we want... I, I think we should do that. I think police officers shouldn't even use their guns. They should just call CNN, stand outside, and change legislation. Because that's that's the way. That's what works. At least that's what CNN says. And, you know, if you say otherwise, you'll be blocked, deleted, banned off Facebook, banned off Google. But don't worry. Google has a new you know, $300 million program or $30 million program where they're going to fight fake news. Yes, thank goodness. Google's going to fight fake news. It's not like they colluded with the Hillary campaign like Eric Schmidt, CEO of uh, Alphabet Google, you know, was working staff member of Hillary's campaign. So I'm sure that they're a nonpartisan way to really fight fake news. Oh, they're partnering with Washington Post. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, they, oh, the fake news is going to go away. Washington Post and Google, man, they're really going to get rid of the fake news. It's not going to end like an Orwellian dystopian nightmare or anything. Perfect. Thank goodness. Thank you, Google. I really needed somebody that wasn't a complete SJW liberal lunatic to tell me how to read my news. Because I don't know how. I like Sometimes I read the truth and then it bothers me and I'm like, oh, no. I, why did I read the truth? Why did I watch an opinion? Why did I like you know, appreciate other people's perspectives and, and try to balance out everyone's perspectives and realize that, you know, the entire world is, is seen through the eyes of, of the beholder. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just read CNN and listened to what CNN said and Washington Post. I'm so sorry, Google. Next time, I'll never do that again. I promise I'll never listen to the truth. I'll never weigh out people's opinions and perspectives. I'll never read the right and the left and the center and decide for myself. I'm so sorry. I'll never listen to President Trump talk again. I'll never read his tweets without a negative, nasty, mentally unfit lens with the pills that you feed me. I'm so sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to you, Google. I'm going to listen to what you say, Trump said. I'm going to listen to what Washington Post said, Trump said. I'm going to listen to what CNN said, Trump said. I'm going to listen to what CNN says about school shootings. I'm going to listen to what Washington Post says. I'm going to listen to, you know, Brian Skelter. And I'm going to listen to Don Lemon. And I'm going to let them decide for me because I don't want my brain. Thank you so much, Google. I'm so glad you're fighting fake news. I'm, I apologize for the last two years. I had a brain. I had common sense. I had logic. I had perspective. I talked to people. I understood America better than 99.9% of the politicians, including the one that had a $1.4 billion failed campaign, which is the reason she lost because she's the most arrogant, ignorant criminal to ever run for president in modern U.S. history. 
I'm sorry that I'm not that type of person. I'm so wrong. I'm so terrible. I have a brain. I have common sense. I'm healthy. I'm happy. You know, I should just be a depressed, negative, angry, fake feminist and fake racial activist like Jack from Twitter. And then I could post all these racially divisive stories, but never actually educate the black, Latino and white community on how to gain wealth because you can't really gain wealth because, you know, the people like Jack, uh, you know, they feel so bad that they've accumulated billions of dollars of wealth and they have all your data and they're selling it out to, uh, you know, people all the time. So I need to learn from them because it's like we're never going to get there. I understand that. But, you know, these are things that I need to learn. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't march in the street. You know, I don't want children marching in the street. You know, I, I can't, you know. Actual terrorists aren't terrorists. We should just fund rebels and we should kill leaders of other countries and just leave a complete vacuum for Al Qaeda and ISIS to take over. That's what we need. I'm so sorry that I believed in real democracy and letting people live and not get, you know, hit by missiles and stuff. So I apologize. I'm totally in the wrong. Ignore everything I said this. I'm I'm going to go study. I'm going to read CNN. I'm going to research New York Times, Washington Post. I'm going to let Elon Musk uh, plant a computer chip on my head with his uh, new company Neuralink, and everything's going to be okay. If we take all the guns away from every single law-abiding citizen, if we continue to call Republicans, conservatives, and the NRA terrorists, even when you have four officers standing outside of a school doing absolutely nothing, waiting as the kids get massacred, but you actually have a competent police officer who responds to the scene in less than a minute in Maryland at Great Mills High School, that's what, you know... That doesn't matter because we need more town halls. We need more 14-year-old Democrats to tell us how to live our lives. And if we do this, if we really embrace communism, if we embrace higher taxes, if we embrace you know fake equality where they take everything from you, give it to the top 1%, and then act like it's going to come, come back to you, that's going to really fix our, our economy and our society. So ignore everything I said. Yes, communism. Yes, gun control. If we take all the guns away, I don't think we should just do mental health. I think we should just start barricading into people's houses and just trying to take all their guns away because that wouldn't start a civil war. Trust me, people in Texas and people in West Virginia, they're just going to let you come in and take their guns. So I think that's what we should do. We should just barricade into people's house, take everyone's guns. And if no one had a gun, if no law abiding citizen had a gun, and tens of millions of illegal criminals had guns because there's tens of millions of guns that are unregistered and you know all over the place right now, I think then gun violence would be completely eradicated. So that's the new solution. Thank you guys for joining. Have a good have a good